Why is Godzilla attacking everything in sight? That is the one question that has puzzled MonsterVerse fans from the first time they saw the trailer more than two weeks back. Well, right here on MindQ, we are going to discuss why. Godzilla seems to be going after Apex and Monarch sites everywhere in the world, as if he is in search of something. And that is the topic of the day. What is Godzilla really searching for? There are three possible things that has the King of the Monsters attention and it could be either one of them or all of them. But before we go in depth, give it up to my man Methlo Kaiju Fan 97 He does awesome animation work on his channel. Do check them out and subscribe to him. And of course, subscribe to our channel too. So let's get to it. Well, let's see Godzilla's personality and behavior first. Oh, well, his behavior is that of a territorial animal. Ishiro Serizawa theorized that Godzilla uh, to be the driving force to restore balance to nature whenever that balance is disrupted, suggesting that he essentially considers the entire Earth to be his territory. However, unlike previous incarnations, Godzilla doesn't blatantly attack or plow through buildings and ships at sea simply because they're there. In fact, with larger ships like the aircraft carrier, he simply dives down under them. Monarch considers him and others like Behemoth and Mothra as protector titans, which means their true behavior is to defend the world and restore the natural order of things. Furthermore, in the MonsterVerse, Godzilla was designed to have a personality that would evoke the Last Samurai archetype, an ancient warrior content with solitude and preferring not to be a part of the world but has to resurface when certain types of events force him to appear and set things right. Although this noble persona of him is of high regard, Godzilla also has some degree of rivalry with other titans like Monster Zero or also known as King Ghidorah and a long history and an ancient rivalry with a species of Kong and the Mutos as he is depicted fighting alternatively with one of them in various cave paintings. Uh, following Ghidorah's death, uh, Godzilla starts to care for the well-being of the human race as evidenced by a clipping in the end credits mentioning that Godzilla is keeping the other titans from attacking major human settlements. So with that in mind, why would Godzilla suddenly attack and destroy multiple military sites and apex bases as well as monarch stations around the world? Well, the most logical reason for this is that he is in search or desperately searching for something. Something that can emit a biosignature that would capture his interest. After all, Godzilla isn't a telepathic being, he can't sense anything with his mind, he can sense things he can't, he can't sense things with ESP or the sixth sense but he does have a very evolved sense that can capture and track biosignatures or bioacoustics that are emitted by other titans in fact all the titans have that sense case in point godzilla was seen tracking the muro signatures in 2014 he was also seen doing the same in 2019 for ghidorah and rodan and the other titans were also attracted to the orca in king of the monsters so, in this movie, uh, this biosignature thing will play a very important role in determining the hidden plot that's provoking the G-Man and turning the world against him. Well, there are three possible things that he is going after, and we are going to discuss them now. Starting with the first, Godzilla senses new Titan signatures. As we have seen in the news clippings at the end credit scenes of Godzilla King of the Monsters, the tiny print layout in the section of the newspaper hints that Monarch or other human agencies had already tried to create organic titans, bio titans, and this was the cause of several titan incidents. And with Apex, a new organization that deals with robotics and cybernetics, it could be that they are testing such things in various facilities spread around the globe. And due to that, new and unnatural biosignatures are made which would trigger Godzilla to hunt them down and put an end to a possibly new threat to the planet as perceived by the G-Man. Or it could be that the Apex group intentionally sounds out these acoustics in order to taint the image of Godzilla attacking human settlements and then this would turn the entire world against the Titan. Second, the most common theory out there right now is Godzilla is in search of Ghidorah's remaining head and the brainwaves of Mechagodzilla that is in fact really Ghidorah's signature. As we have discussed in our earlier videos, the frame, the body frame for Mechagodzilla in theory could be constructed from the bones of Dagon, a deceased member of Godzilla species that died out fighting the Muto Prime. But that is just the body. The brain and the functioning systems however could be made functional with the integration of Ghidorah's remaining head. 
the one that was bitten off in the Battle of the, uh, of the Coast of Mexico. The name is Kevin. So Apex could be activating or researching parts of Ghidorah's head, which in turn creates brainwaves and biosignatures that attracts Godzilla towards them. Godzilla, however, only reacts to Ghidorah's signature and attacks only to destroy whatever remains of his nemesis. Lastly, Godzilla might be searching for the mysterious egg that was discovered by Monarch, the one that was shown in the end credit scenes in news clippings of Godzilla King of the Monsters. What this egg is is yet unknown, but the news clippings say that Monarch finds a massive egg and that an expeditionary team deep into Mothra's territory finds a giant egg and this has been transported to an unknown Monarch facility. The MonsterVerse incarnation of Mothra returns the character to her Toho incarnations as a mystical being of resurrection, being capable of returning from death by laying an egg from which she is reborn as a larva when her previous form dies out. And as we know by now, Godzilla and Mothra shares a very deep symbiotic relationship. Could this be the reason Godzilla is attacking military and apex bases? Is he searching for the next Mothra and ensuring the species lives on? And with the world experimenting on Ghidorah's head, creating mechanized titans and also trying to create bio titans as well, in the process creating new biosignatures and killing them off when they fail to activate properly, a baby Mothra's voice in this chaotic time would of course get a reply from the king of the monsters and he would be going to rescue his future queen. Just as Mothra guided Serizawa and his team to the location of Godzilla in order to revive him for the fight against Monster Zero, Godzilla vs Kong might see the nuclear lizard returning the favor and rescuing the egg from Monarch or Apex. And could these organization actually use the Mothra sound to lure in Godzilla into a fight against Kong? Well, this is the right question. And so with that, we come to the end of the video on what Godzilla is searching for. It could be three things that he's attracted to, with an intent to destroy and also to save it. It could be the new biosignatures from Titans being created by humans, or Apex, or Monarch, or whatever agency that's there, or Ren Serizawa, the yee <laughs> the yee ass haircut boy. It could be the brain waves of uh, Ghidorah attracting him, which would mean he is in search of Mecha Godzilla unknowingly. And lastly, he could be in search for Mothra herself, and combining with the other two, he could be on a mission to retrieve the egg, or all the three things at once. Gotta catch them all. So subscribe for more Monsterverse videos and Godzilla vs Kong dissections. Also like for support and slap 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 that bell button for regular updates on what's new. Take care, fam.